Hello! Is everyone sick of white bricks? Let's go ahead and change it so they're not white anymore. We're going to do that by using some tile textures I created. These are super, super basic textures. They're just four bricks of various types of gray. There's absolutely nothing special about them. You can get them in the download if you want them, but they're really, really not special. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a material We'll call it chunk material. And then we're just going to put those on it. So it's going to be a bumped diffuse. And uh, my game is actually um, space based. It's got space mechs in it. So uh, these are supposed to be different kinds of texture that you'd find on something like a moon. Here I'm changing the normal map to actually be a normal map. There we go. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to add that to the chunk, like this. Not like that. Like this. There we go. And you can see that it uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually it it takes, but it doesn't look good. And you can see that it's got this crazy pattern to it. And the reason for that is because our UV mapping is currently set so that every brick is the entire texture. Instead, what we want to do is we want to have each brick be only a tiny piece of the texture. Pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. Over here in strict, uh, script, we need to go into chunk. Wow, it opened the right one. I have never seen it do that. Um, and we actually get that down here in UVs. Uh, down here in build face, we do the UVs right here. See? We're going to do, uh, we need to be able to determine what our UV map is. So, uh, vector2 UV width equals new vector2. And here we need to determine the width of our block in terms of percentage of total size. And in this case, uh, the, the tiles are 4 by 4 there's 16 of them. So that means that we're going to be 25 wide and 25% high, like so. We're also going to need to do uh, where we are on that particular, which tile we're on. Now I actually think that this is, I think we're actually up here, like that. Let's go ahead and just see how that looks. So this works in exactly the same way as these guys up here do, except that uh, we're only adding in the pieces that we want. So new vector to uv corner dot x, uv corner dot y plus uv width dot y. Like that. Plus uv width dot x plus UV width x and just the corner. And that actually may be going the opposite direction of what I want. It may be going counterclockwise, but it actually doesn't really matter at all. So here you can see that we've got um, we've got something that looks vaguely correct, but we've got some bad scarring along the edges, as you can see, uh, especially the bump map. And the reason for that is actually simply because these tile textures have the wrong settings. We need to clamp them. We need to do a point. Um, we can do true color if that turns out to be something painful, but we actually only are using 512. So we'll apply those. And then we need to go into tile texture bump and do those exact same things. Uh, clamp, point, and 512. And that doesn't have, it doesn't appear to have actually fixed our um, edge condition. How awkward. Usually what that, what that means is we've actually got an error in our, um, in our bump map where the edges aren't clearly defined. Uh, in this case, that's what it means. 
We're actually going to go ahead and uh, set our UV width to slightly smaller just to see whether that clears up the, the issue. And it doesn't. It clears it up a little bit on one side, but not on the other. One of the problems is I don't actually know whether that is the y-axis or the x-axis that's giving us those trouble. Now that's closer, but we still have this really annoying problem. And it may just be that it's a bump map. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and try that out. If we change the texture over into a... just a bumped, uh, non-bumped, like that. Yeah. Yeah, the bump map is what's giving us the problem. Uh, and that's probably because the bump map actually has... Um, uh, the way that... Sorry, I just bumped my mic. The way that the bump map works is that when it gets a texture... Uh, no, that's not it. It transforms it into this bluish map, you see? But the calculations which determine the height uh, of the bumps make it... they, they radiate slightly. Uh, so you can see that this is no longer one pixel sharply defined from another, but is instead a, a gradient. And so when you're doing this sort of bump map situation, you have an option. You can either shrink your tiles so that there's a few pixels on each side, uh, or you can manually create your bump map rather than doing it automatically, or you can not use bump maps. I want to use bump maps, so let's go ahead and shrink our, our tile. So down here, we're going to go ahead and make this... 23 by 23 and make this like this and that will hopefully clear it up. Yep. Well, not really. There's a maximum limit and beyond that limit it gets grooved again. Hmm. That's pretty awful. What if we really shrink it down? I didn't mean to have so much experimenting here. I di actually didn't think this would be something difficult to do. I thought it would just work. Well, that's a little bit better. It looks like having the bump map really requires us to be very, very conservative with our tile maps uh, and separate them by quite a bit of a margin. Um, now, if I was a real graphics guy, I would make my own damn bump maps, and they wouldn't have this issue. But that's kind of a pain in the ass. I really do want bump maps though, so let's go ahead and, and set this to something ridiculous like um, 17, 17, uh, 17.25 minus, so that's, that's 8, and that's 4, so that's, there we are. Alright, uh, that seems to be enough of a margin that even when so the problem with it was, when it was getting off into the far distance, the, uh, the smoothing algorithms used to shrink the picture um, were smoothing it to be streaky. And you can see that we still have a little bit of that. Um, well, for now that's okay. Later on we're probably going to want to fix that. Uh, and you can, if you don't like it, then you can always transfer over to using a... Um, a, uh, a non-bump mapped material until I figure out the best way to fix it. If you happen to know how to fix it, feel free to post in the comments uh, how to do so, so that I can do it. Um, now, I still only have one kind of brick, and so next episode we are going to be switching up between the four kinds of bricks that I have specified.